At the dawn of the 21st century, a South African immigrant, Musk, began leaving indelible marks on the technological landscape. Though he started with ventures like Zip2 and X.com, it was his audacious aspirations for the future that truly captured the world's attention. After PayPal's lucrative sale in 2002, Musk could have chosen any path. Instead, with the wealth amassed, he founded SpaceX, not just to venture into space, but to make space exploration affordable, and eventually set human footprints on Mars. Parallelly, in 2003, Tesla Motors came into existence. While seemingly divergent from space exploration, it echoed Musk's overarching vision of a sustainable and ambitious future. But it's SpaceX's starship that stands out as the crown jewel of Musk's space ambitions. We all witnessed the raw power of this rocket on April 20th, when the Starship Super Heavy made its formidable ascent during its inaugural flight. However, roughly four minutes into its voyage, a colossal explosion sent shockwaves through the aerospace community. This catastrophic event, however, did not deter Musk or his team. They have a proven track record of bouncing back from setbacks and they remain undeterred. While the aerospace community awaits Starship's next orbital trial, Musk's teasers about future Starships keep everyone intrigued. The primary fascination lies in its size and power. Currently, the Starship Super Heavy boasts an impressive lineup of 33 Raptor version 2 engines in its first stage, the Super Heavy Rocket Booster. The second stage, the Starship spacecraft itself, houses six engines. Three of these are optimized for the Earth's atmosphere, providing maximum thrust, while the other three, the Raptor vacuum engines, are designed for space maneuvers. A recently shared photograph of the Starship's engine bay by Musk suggests the possibility of housing three more vacuum engines. This means that the fully stacked Starship could soon move from a total of 39 engines to an astounding 42. For context, this would be like adding the thrust equivalent of a small rocket to an already massive spacecraft. But adding more engines isn't the only change Musk has in mind for the Starship. He has also mentioned possible changes to the spacecraft's overall structure. He's thinking of expanding the Starship by 10 to 20 percent, which means more space inside for more fuel and, therefore, longer missions. When we think of other famous rockets like the Saturn V, which was used for the Apollo missions, we know that its design was changed several times to make it work better. Starship seems to be on a similar path of continuous improvement. Many people who love space and rockets have been trying to guess what these changes might mean for the Starship. Most agree that a Starship with nine engines, designed for longer space trips, would need bigger fuel tanks. They might need to increase the size of these tanks by around 25% to hold an extra 300 tons of fuel. This is a lot more fuel, almost like adding the fuel from multiple large airplanes to the Starship. The updated Starship, with an expected weight of nearly 1,600 tons and standing about 55 meters tall, is indeed a marvel. This height is almost comparable to two large airplanes stacked on top of each other. It surpasses its current design by about 10%, edging closer in power and size to the Falcon Heavy, currently known as the world's most potent reusable rocket. Now, when we compare it to the Space Launch System, or SLS, which is currently the largest active rocket, the distinctions become evident. While the SLS is a beast in its own right, designed to be the primary launch vehicle of NASA's deep space exploration plans, the Starship is gearing up to challenge and possibly exceed its capabilities. In terms of payload capacity, the Starship's potential to carry up to 220 tons or even more stands out. This capacity is akin to transporting a large passenger airplane into space. When compared to the SLS's expected payload capacity, Starship outshines, especially considering its capability for more extended missions without frequent refueling. The ability to conduct more extended missions can significantly impact trips to destinations like the Moon or Mars, making the exploration more efficient and economical. Beyond these technical specifications, it's essential to highlight the broader implications. If Starship successfully goes through all its prototype tests and becomes operational, it won't just be another rocket. It will be the largest rocket ever built, signaling a new era in space exploration and technology. Aspirations, while pushing us to achieve great things, often come with their own set of challenges and hurdles. The journey of SpaceX's Starship perfectly illustrates this, as the ambitious project has faced a series of regulatory roadblocks that have slowed down its progress. 
Many still recall how, just a month ago, SpaceX faced a setback. The scene at the launch pad was filled with anticipation, only to be met with disappointment. SpaceX had to take apart the rocket because the Federal Aviation Administration didn't provide the needed launch permissions. The FAA's stance was clear. Certain safety measures and steps were yet to be completed, leaving fans and experts both excited and let down. Recently, there was some buzz about the FAA possibly suggesting a launch date for the Starship. However, this news was met with mixed feelings, especially from SpaceX and its outspoken leader Elon Musk. It's clear that Musk, known for his drive to push forward, is growing tired of these repeated delays. An update from the head of the FAA's Commercial Space Division seemed promising. He mentioned that the investigation into the previous issues with Starship's test had been finished. He added that if SpaceX makes the needed changes, a launch license could be granted by somewhere in mid to late October. But SpaceX still has a list of tasks ahead. The FAA has given SpaceX a list of 63 changes they need to make before getting approval. Out of these, 27 are focused directly on making sure the public is safe. This shows that the FAA wants to make sure that everything about the launch is as safe as possible, given the risks of space travel. But Musk's frustration with the process was clear when he shared his feelings on Twitter. A tweet pointed out that U.S. fish and wildlife officials were dragging their feet and hadn't started a review of SpaceX's changes after the Starship's April launch. This delay might push back the next launch by several months, a delay that no one wants to see. Musk didn't hold back in his response, saying, That is not okay. How can SpaceX build a big rocket faster than they can check some paperwork? It will be interesting to see how SpaceX and the FAA work together to get the Starship into space. SpaceX has an ambitious itinerary lined up for Starship, including billionaire missions and NASA's Artemis program. These missions underscore the importance of getting Starship operational and safe. Predicting exact timelines in the aerospace sector is tricky, with 2023 being ruled out and 2024 looking improbable for the next-gen Starship, eyes are on 2025, especially its last quarter, for a potential launch. However, as Musk has rightly said, while designing is intricate, actual creation poses more significant challenges. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.